Let's have some first impressions on Double Money, a casual game published by Voodoo. This game is one of the most popular right now in uh, Play Stores. We start by selecting the gender. Wow! Right away, <laughs> we have a paying offer pop being proposed. So uh, the menu is simple. We can personalize our cards uh, by watching an ad. I'm going to uh, do it right now. Not sure that this is really helpful, but okay. So I just watched the ad. I edited to remove the ad, of course. And the personalization is uh, that you can name the card. Okay, I put the GP there. All right. So let's have a look at that part. We can build apparently some properties there in the market. But uh, let's play. So we start by yes, playing that uh, scissors, paper scissors game to see who is starting. And we select uh, each account to modify the value of uh, the sum of money, which is on the left, on our left hand nothing really uh, tricky here it's just basic math it's not even mathematics it's really uh, only logical all right we have unlocked new cards i have tried to play this game offline but this is not possible you have to activate your internet connection to play this game it is going to refuse uh, to load if you try to play it offline and we understand why because actually you are going to watch a lot of advertisements in this game it is actually not even a game it is like a, a big ad with some poses to allow you to play <laughs> actually I barely exaggerated, but um, you will see an ad every like uh, every round. Yeah, you finish playing, and then you will be forced to watch an ad. You will be proposed to watch an ad to get uh, a ring or uh, another feature. But even if you refuse to watch an ad you will be forced to uh, now and then watch an ad a short one okay so let's uh, talk a bit about the visuals well as you can see artworks are pretty ugly <laughs> there's nothing uh, really impressive in those designs animations are pretty basic the user interface is super simple camera angle well there's only one this is a first person point of view as for the background music there is none there are only some sound effects this is a pretty lazy game they have done no effort to improve uh, the soundtrack it could have you know put some uh, chill music in the background but nothing as for controls well what can we say this is just a casual game it must be intuitive easy to use playability is fine there is no lag the game is pretty uh, responsive two taps on the screen the game difficulty is pretty low this is pretty easy to understand what you need to do and to be honest uh, the um, intelligence of your opponent is pretty low he's not going to try to win at all cost sometimes you know I have chosen a bad card on purpose not the best one not the best choice 
but the opponent doesn't even choose uh, the best card when it was his turn playing selecting a card yeah it adds a bit of fun here whenever a player has a high hers some he can slap the other well <laughs> this adds a bit of fun but you know otherwise the game is pretty boring because once you have played the first levels we can call that levels it is very repetitive there's no story so um, the game experience is quite well dull you feel a bit dumb actually after a while because all you do is to do some basic math thinking and you have to watch so many advertisements that you feel a bit dumb playing that game honestly I have played this game I kept playing it and I kept watching the ads very simply because I wanted to get some first impressions otherwise I wouldn't have stopped playing right after the uh, the fifth ad because there's no way you avoid an ad in this game even if I told you even if you don't want to watch an ad you will have to they will force you to watch a shorter ad and if you want to like here multiply the earnings or to uh, make a final slap what a weird idea by the way to your opponent or to upgrade your ring which is useless for the gameplay it's just uh, for the cosmetics where well, all that will be done by watching advertisements so yeah this is a kind of uh, global leaderboard you climb in the ranking thanks to the revenue that you get after each uh, round you can start richer by getting more money by watching an ad what's a surprise and well for the cast selection you wouldn't have understood sometimes it is better not to choose some and select carefully the card that you want even if it is not really good at the moment because it will give you the possibility to pick a better card at the bottom see you have you can't choose the, the cards um, which are overlapped by another so sometimes it is better not to unlock the cats um, at the bottom and and choose another cat so that you have more choice after that uh, your opponent has play so the game engine is very far from being impressive this is a very basic very simple to animate there is no bug tough that's fine on that way but otherwise yeah frustration is going to uh, make you feel that the game is very monotonous very repetitive you will find it boring especially after having watched so many ads say you can shuffle cards but even for that you have to watch that so you can feel that everything is done so that you buy a no ads option in this game there is an option to remove ads but uh, this is not really worth it you watch ads again and again and again the only good thing I have seen this game is that you can give that to uh, a young kid your kid to play so he or she starts to uh, become more familiar with uh, mathematics but otherwise you will not feel very smart 
playing that game. So honestly, I don't see how I can recommend to uh, download this game and and play it. Honestly, I won't recommend unless you are really a big fan of this kind of game. Otherwise, there are so so many minutes that you're going to spend to just watch advertising in this game that you will find it not very cool a game to play. Well, I hope that you enjoy watching me have some first impressions on Double Money, a casual game published by Voodoo. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay T5 and to turn on the bell to stay tuned for new videos of casual games. Thank you a lot for your support and see you soon in Gameplay T5. Bye bye.